Hello all, this is the step-by-step -step setup of DB2 11.5.7 on Microsoft Windows 2019 failover cluster or which is also called as MSCS, Microsoft Cluster Services, Microsoft Cluster Services and we will be setting up the latest version which is available as of today DB2 11.5.7 on Windows 2019. The, this particular setup is done on Windows 2019 evaluation version VirtualBox 6.1.30 and I have used DB2 11.5.7 Community Edition. The the part one of this, the setup of Windows failover cluster, I have already uploaded the video on that particular topic on how to set up the cluster and this particular video follows the part one. If you know how to set up the Windows failover cluster, you do not have to watch that video. But if you do not know how to set up the cluster, then you'll have to first set up the cluster for this particular setup to work. And the video is recorded and the link is provided. This particular document will be shared in the document description. So you can always refer this particular document. Once the cluster is up and running, so I'll just show, uh, once the cluster, I'll show you everything once at a later point in time. So once the cluster is up and running, the, we have to install the DB2. We do not have to do any changes. This is the same setup that you will normally use in your environment. No difference while installing the DB2 for this particular setup, except for the fact that make sure that you choose the domain account for all the DB2 services. This is very important. You choose the domain account. Do not use the local account or system account. Use the domain account. We will verify the once the DB2 is installed, we will verify the DB2 level. We will verify the license and we will verify the default instance because by default on Windows, the DB2 will create one instance that will be a default instance called DB2. We'll verify that. The next part is we'll create a DB2 resource or role in the cluster. So. Uh, by default there won't be a db2 role or the resource in the cluster so what we will be doing is like we will be creating that particular resource using db2 wol fi install so we will be uh, uh, we will be setting up this particular command we'll be installing this particular role using this particular command this particular command then adds a role once the db2 resource is added then we will be adding the role using the payload cluster manager or clue admin both are same We'll create a shared folder in shared file system. The file system that we have created will create a shared folder system. This particular file system will be used for the instance profile. Remember that you cannot have your, your instance because the node, the both the nodes should be able to access the instance profile. The instance profile has to be there on the on the shared file system. So we'll create the, the instance profile on the shared file system. The next thing that we will be doing is we will add a file share to the DB2 resource or role that we have created. Once that is done, we will create a DB2 instance. The command I will be using is DB2 I create for ESC version, the enterprise server edition. This is the domain account under which the instance will be running. And this is the instance name. We will, we will run this on node one. You can do it on any node of the cluster. We will, I will do it on node one. So the next thing we will verify that instance is created. We will verify that the services are there in the, 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 the services.msc for this, this particular instance that we created. We will verify that. Once that is done, we will migrate the instance to a cluster on same node where instance is created. So we, this particular command has to be run on the same node. So we will use the db2 i class migrate the name of the instance, name of the node the name of the node the the shared path the shared path and the domain account the again the db2 i class is the command we are going to migrate the instance profile to the for this instance on this particular node to this particular path and using this particular account once that is done we will verify the db2 i list then what we are going to do is we are going to go to the second node and we are going to add the resource to the uh, the second node in, in as a resource uh, for that particular cluster and then we are going to verify the services.msc on the second we do not have to create the instance on both the nodes we have to create instance only on one node the next thing that we are going to do is like if something doesn't work we will verify the the instance registry if it doesn't work then only i will verify it if it works then i'm not going to worry, verify it the what we have to also do is we have to rename the db2 resource in a cluster the that is very important we have to re, for esc we have to give the instance name dash zero uh, instance name dash dash zero so we have to give and we have to give the dependencies storage ip address and file server so we have to give the dependencies to the db2 server because the db2 instance should not come before the disk or the ip address or the file server so we have to give that 
then we will be bringing up the resources and once the resources are online we will fail over the resource to the another node sometimes the reboot may be required but it should mandatorily it should not be required then what we are going to do is like we for the instance we are going to set up the db2 communication so we are going to set up the db2 com para parameter and we are going to stop and start the instance for this db2 com to get effective and we will also set the service name to fight uh five triple zero one we will create the database here i'm changing the default db part to h drive this is the shared folder the shared volume so we will be changing that so remember that the database has to be also created in the shared location so we'll create that we'll create the database we'll activate it and then what we are going to do is we are going to do the test connectivity so we are going to launch the db2 command window on local machine and we are going to uh, catalog the VIP. This is the VIP virtual IP. So this particular virtual IP we will use to connect to the, the DB2 database, which is created on the cluster. And then what we are going to do is like we are going to fail over or shut down one of the machine. We, we can perform the failover or we can shut down the, one of the machine, the active machine and the instance will automatically fail over to the second node. And then we are going to connect it and see where it is. So this is what we are going to cover. So let me start. So as I mentioned that I got, I got, this is my setup. These are the two nodes. So let me go to the first node, login as the DB2 admin, the domain account. So this is the domain account. I'm logging as a domain account. And here, let me show you tools, tools, then failover cluster manager. And you should be able to see, okay, what's, okay. So you should be able to see that I have got a cluster right now. It's up and running. And there are two nodes, there are no roles, there are zero roles, and there are two nodes here, the C1 and C2. And you can see the storage in the cluster. You can see the storage. I got one codom disk, which is one GB and 20, uh, the H drive. This is the H drive. This is where we are going to migrate the instance profile. And this is where I'm going to uh, create the database. So this is the database drive. This particular drive is currently active. So you can see that it is active on node one. So the node one is currently active. So you can see here on node one that you should be able to see a H drive and G drive. And if I go to node two, this is I'm going to log into the node two right now, the C2, and you should be able to see that I do not have the H drive and Q drive. I have only three drives. So as you can see, these two drives, the quorum drive and H drive are there on active node. The current active node is node one. So this is the node two. So the first thing that we need to do is I have already shown you the cluster. This is how the cluster is. Now I said we have to install the DB2 and this is not different from your current environment. You install the DB2 as you normally do in your Windows environment. You have to run the DB2 setup only difference is i will repeat only difference is the domain account for db2 services this is very important so now what we are going to do is i'm going to i'm going to click on d drive uh i'm going to unzip this file so extract here so okay so that's doesn't work for some reason that's i think i got some error so i'm going to not use that so what i'm going to say run i'm going to copy this particular path run as administrator and I'll go to the next node. And as I mentioned, I'm will using DB2 11.5.7. So I'm doing the same thing here and here. So I'm going to wait for that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the path. So let's wait. So as you can see, we got this particular screen. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to give the path. I'm going to extract to the same location. So I'm going to do the unzip. I got the same path here. I'm going to extract it. I'm going to give the same path and unzip and it has started unzipping the DB2 11.5.7. You can see that right now I do not have the DB2 installed. You can see that I do not have the DB2 installed. Neither you can see that I do not have the DB2 installed here as well. So the DB2 is not currently installed. And right now the DB2 is getting unzipped on node one as well as on node two. So once the unzip is completed, I'll pause the video and come back once the unzip is completed. So as you can see, the unzip is about to finish. That's finished on node two. So close this and close this. So that's done. The unzip is finished and click go to server desk right click run as admin so i'm going to run the db2 setup so that's done on node one i'll go to node two as well so 
right click on it and run as admin click on setup so right now i have initiated choose install a product so i'm going to use db2 11.5.7 server edition so install new i'll go here install a product install new i'm doing this it simultaneously so that i do not waste your time so i'm doing it on both the nodes at the same time so that's running here and that's running here so wait for the the db2 screen to appear i'll pause the video and come back when that screen comes so the db2 setup screen has appeared click on next i accept click on next typical that's fine click on next click on next this is fine click on next this is important choose the domain account for db2 admin it doesn't matter whether it's in caps or small but use the same account for all the db2 remaining services domain account db2 admin so click on next create a default db2 instance single partition instance db2 default instance uncheck this uncheck this and click on finish so that's done the db2 installation is started on node 1 let's go to node 2 so follow the same steps so click on next accept the license click on next typical click on next click on next click on next i'm not doing any changes this is very important db doesn't matter whether it's in caps lock or small i prefer to keep it in the caps locks the username is this use the same account for remaining db2 services click on next create default db2 instance yes single partition instance yes default instance db2 yes setup yes enable no if we do this we have to do some changes that's why i'm skipping this part and click on finish so the db2 install is started on node 1 and it has started on node 2 i'm going to pause the video and come back when the db2 is fully installed as you can see the db2 is installed on node 1 it's still getting installed on the second node and that's done so now the db2 part is done finish next finish so we can see the on node 1 okay we don't need this so on node 1 we got db2 installed and let me click here and that is by default there should be one instance so let me do one thing let me open the properties go to the font increase the font so that you guys can see it clearly okay so db2 i list you can see that there is one default font db2 level will show you that i am using db2 11.5.7 and db2 licm minus l will show that i am using the community edition 11.5 so we we have the default instance i will not be using this particular instance to set up the cluster i'll create a different instance similarly on node 2 i'll do the same thing i will open the command window what i'll do is like i will increase the font properties font 24 korea new bold and i can i think i can change the color so i'll change the color screen background no screen text to maybe hello so that we know okay so this is node 2 as you can see this is the node 2 and db2 level is 11.5.7 same version licm minus l you can see it's a community edition and db2 i list will show that we have got a default instance created so we are good the db2 is installed so this part is done so this part is done we have installed the db2 the next thing is in the add a resource in the cluster so what happens let's i'll show you what exactly happens so if i go here if i click on configure role if i click on next you cannot see a db2 role here click on other server let's see if there is something in other server i'll give some name i'll give some ip so one 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 and click on next and you should be able to see that we do not have a db2 uh, let's say 
here we do not have the db2 server as a role so we cannot configure a db2 server as a role in the cluster so what we need to do for that to appear is we need to add the db2 resource so this is what the command will do so i'm going to run this command so clear this can be done before the instance is a one-time activity so that's done now if i go there configure role click on next and say other server click on next give the name test uh, and if i say 111 and say next and then you should be able to and choose the disk and click on next and you see now the db2 server is there it was not that before after running this particular command it has appeared so let's let me close this so that is the that is the important of that particular command then we have to add a role which i was supposed to do but before adding a role what i'll do is like i will create a shared uh, the i'll create a folder i i can definitely use uh, i can definitely use the I can directly go H drive and I can click on new folder and instance share. So this is the blank folder. You can see it's a newly created folder. I just created it at 246. You see the time here is 247. So we just created this particular folder. This is created in the shared for shared drive. This is the uh, cluster drive. This particular drive will move wherever the it's the no role is active. So this is this particular profile is created the instance profile is created here i could give the name as instance shared instance profile whatever you want to give it's your choice the name doesn't matter the next thing that we are going to do is add a file share so now what we are going to do so we have created so what i'll do is as i mentioned that i've got a storage here sorry disk here the it's available so it doesn't it means available means that it's not used by any role and we can use it to configure the new role so now we'll configure the new role so i'll do one thing i'll say configure role click on next and say other server this is very important click on next give the name so what i'm going to do is like this is the instance one so i'll say instance once to keep it simple and then i'm going to say one 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 so i'm going to give the this will become the virtual ip vip this will will become the vip so if i do okay i'll show it to you if i do ip config you can see that there is only one ip 101 and this is the cluster ip 110 the cluster is uh, online on node one that's why the here you can see 101 which is the node ip the host ip for this and 110 is the cluster ip the failure cluster ip if i go here i'll clear the screen and if i run the ip config you should be able to see there is only one ip 102 because we do not have 110 here because the cluster is running on here so now what we are going to so so if i okay so if i so if i do this i'll do something like this so you know we can see the ips clearly 168.1 and you can see that we have got two ips 101 and 110 so these are the two ips okay otherwise what i'll do i'll also say find str ip before so you can clearly see that we have got two ips here now what i'm going to do uh, i'll keep a note of this particular screen so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say create a virtual IP of 111. This virtual IP will be used to connect to the DB2 database. You can see that I have 101 and 110. I do not have 111. So keep a note of 111. The name doesn't matter. I'll not add the disk to the cluster. I'll show you how to add it at a later point in time. I'll you, you can definitely. This is the 20 GB disk I mentioned. This is the data disk we can definitely add it from here doesn't you can do it but i will show you how to add it uh, afterwards if you have not added it before so click on next click select the db2 server click on next and this is the vip this is the name and click on next and it's going to create a role as you can see that's done finish so now we can see a new role that we just created it has got it has got the name that's it and virtual ip and now if i okay the it's not online right now it's not online so you should still not be able to see that ip now what i'll do is like i'll try to bring the resources online start role and you can see that once that role is started is started you can see the ip has come online and now we should okay uh why why i can't find that ip okay let's see huh it should actually appear here 
okay did it did it go on note 2 yeah the owner became node 2 for some reason i do not know why the owner became node 2 so that's the reason i'm going to move this to node 1 i do not know why it happened okay so i'm doing this everything from node 1 so now if i run this you can see the 111 it, this ip was not there before it's appeared and the owner node is 19c1 so this is the owner node the next thing that i'm going to do so we, i have already created this add a file share to, this is very important we have to add a file share so now i'll right click on it and i will say first thing we cannot add a file share sorry i did not see this disk is still available which means it's not used as as of now and i cannot add a file share you see i do not have the option to add a file share because i have not added the storage so first we have to add the storage and then we have to add the file share so click on next select this 20 gb disk this disk which is available so click on ok and that particular disk is now part of the cluster now if i go here it's no longer available it's assigned to this particular instance or this particular role and if i now click here and if i say click add storage uh, if i want to add more storage that is no available disk so we have to now provision a new disk if we need another storage to for this particular db2 we have to provision another disk uh, which if you want i can cover but i believe that's not important so we cannot add another disk because there is no available disk the disk which was available here the i have assigned it to the instance one so that's done now you see i got an option called add file share so i'm going to add a file share then I'm going to, it's going to run this in the background and once that is done what we are going to do is I'm going to choose the default H drive the as a file share so that's done the quick the first option let it appear click on next and you can see it has already appeared so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say type a custom path click on browse click on H drive and click on instance share this is the folder that we created select folder next and give the name the share name uh, you can give whatever whatever you want to give so instance share is fine uh, then this becomes the remote path the SMB path this becomes the remote path this one we will be using at a later point in time to migrate our cluster uh, the instance so click on next uh, this is fine click on next and this is fine and click on next and you can see that we are creating a share uh, for the server db2 is a smb share with the share name instance share and click on create so right now you can see we have got the disk we have got the virtual ip we got the role the db2 instance role and now it's going to add the file server to this particular uh to this particular role so that's done and you can see the file server has appeared and that is also online so we are done so next part that i'm going to do is now this is very important what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this and i'm going to click it, click the properties and i'll follow the document so that so we have okay we have not even created the instance so okay so let's create the instance so leave the cluster part so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go to the command prompt i'll show you that i have only one instance db2 i list that's the default instance that we have got i'm going to do is i'm going to create this particular instance and when i'm creating this particular instance it's an esc enterprise server edition this is the domain user this is the instance name so i'm going to create an instance called db2 inst1 so that's what i'm going to do it's going to ask for the password so once i hit the enter it's going to ask for the password okay for some okay so I, i'm going to hit the password and the pass and the command is completed now if i run the db2 i list you can see i got uh, another instance called db2 inht1 now uh, we can get rid of this instance which i will do at a later point in time but hang on for some time so now the instance is created this is not a clustered instance this is not a clustered instance so now if i go to the services.msc we should be able to see that we have the services uh, for the cluster so let's go to the services.msc and we should be able to see a db2 resource here the db2 inht1 and this name this is important click on this take this name okay this is important and i'm going to now go to the cluster 
and right click on this the db2 server role i'm going to click on properties and i'm going to say apply so that's done so now we got the db2 inst1 as the resource the next part next part is remember we created the instance shared and you can see it's blank okay you can see it's currently blank so now what we are going to do is we are going to migrate our instance we are going to migrate our instance to that particular shared path okay so this is the command so what i'll do is like i'll stay here okay and you can see that when i hit the command i'm going to hit this particular okay for some reason okay just give me a minute so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run that particular command so for some reason that this happens so what i'm going to do is i'm going to sign out for some reason sometimes the copy paste doesn't work and i do not want to type this particular command so okay, so copy it did not even copy from here so copy i'm going to log in back as the db2 admin go to to the h drive instance shared i'm going to keep he, this here okay i'm going to keep it here i'm going to launch the db2 command window yes and what i'll do is i'll say cd dot dot so that you can see the complete command properly so cls and i'm going to run this command so db2 i class migrate instance the instance name which node so node one win 19c1 this is the node one this is the first node this is the machine name this is the shared path this is the shared path for this and this is the domain user so i'm going to run this particular command it will ask for the password of the db db2 admin so i'm going to give the password and hit the enter and that's done and you can see automatically a directory appeared here and if i click this then you can see that this particular files got migrated automatically so this we are we have migrated our instance to the shared folder now if i run the db2 i list command you should be able to see that db2 inht1 is now active on node 1 okay you see how the db2 instance is appearing now this is our default instance and this is the clustered instance we do not need this instance it's your choice whether you want to keep it or you want to drop it it's your choice so what i'm going to do is for for the reason i'll just check which instance i'm into so i'm into db2 i'm going to stop this instance to avoid the confusion i'm going to drop this particular instance i no longer need that instance so why do i have to have that instance so i'm going to drop that instance so that's done clear the screen and now if i run the db2 i list i should have only one instance so i've done that so the instance is dropped from the node one and we have only one instance here db2 inst1 which is running on node one so now i'll go here i'll go to the payload cluster manager or we i can run and then wait for it to appear and let's see if the instance has come online if it has not come online so it's still not came online so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on this and see so this has not come online so i'm going to say bring online and wait for it to come online so if whatever we have done now whatever we have done now if everything is correct then this particular instance is going to come online so give it a minute for it to come online the time is so yeah so i was thinking to pause it but you can see the db2 inst1 has come online on node 1 so we are good so the instance we have successfully and our role is right now running so we have successfully configured our instance as ha instance on node 1 as of now if we try to fail over this particular instance to node 2 it won't come up why because the second node has not been added so if i go so now what i'll do is like i'll go to the second node and you should be able to see and this is very important and as i mentioned before that we do not have to create the instance give me a minute again yeah so this is the node 2 so i'll do 
cd dot dot cd so that the screen is good so cls and host name this is the node to the yellow color db to i list and we do not have the second instance i'll also show you to you that in the services dot msc so if i launch the services dot msc so i'm launching the services dot msc on the node 2 and we should be able to see that we do not have the services for db2 inht1 now what i'm going to do is we do not have to create the instance on second node i'm going to run this particular command from the second node so i'm going to say db2 i class add this particular instance on node 2 so this is win 19 c2 this is the profile of the shared directory and this is the user so i'm doing that and then what should happen is like automatically the service should come here automatically a db2 inht1 service should come here and we should be able to see the db2 i list here so now i'm going to do that it's going to ask for the password i'm going to hit the password and that's done the db2 cluster command was ran and now if i run the db2 i list you see that db2 inht1 it shows node 2 uh, and if i now refresh this particular screen then you should be able to see a new instance got created new service got created not the instance the new service got created automatically now we do not need this particular instance so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to check which where which instance i'm into db2 get instance so if i'm into db2 i'm going to yes i will stop this instance and i'll drop this instance so so that's done so we have now successfully dropped the instance and we have only one instance now db2 inht1 which is the cluster instance so now we'll go to this first part and see the instance is running on node one i'm going to see if it gets failover to the second node so i'm going to say move select node and i'm saying node two right now the owner node is c1 and what will happen if i show it to you thus if i go here if i click on tools if i click here and if i show you the services uh the db2 services it's running it's running on node one if i go to the node two if i click on the services and this one we have already dropped so let me refresh the screen so i've done the refresh that's gone and you can see it's not running on node two so this is node two this is node two and it's not running right now on node two so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to come here and i'm going to say failover to node 2 from c1 to c2 so click ok and if whatever we have done till now if it's all good then the instance is everything went offline and the whip will also move the whip it was running on node 1 it's gone you can always rewind the video to see the whip was also running and everything will now come back from node 1 it's going to move to node 2 so it's offline pending and you know for some reason it takes some time the the reason might be my my cluster is not so powerful or my system is not so powerful so what i'm going to do is keep a note in the watch is 304 in the vm do not refer to my local for some reason the local watch and the virtual machine watch doesn't match so right now the time in the virtual machine is 304 i'm going to pause the video and wait for it to become offline this is the one time thing uh next time maybe it's it might not take so much time so give it a minute as you can see it has taken a really long time three minutes 304 i stopped the video 307 right now and everything has come online on node 2 so whatever we have done till now it's appeared and now if i click here you can see that db2 service was in the stop state now i'm going to refresh it and you can see the db2 instance is running on node 2 and if i do the if config on this so if i do ip config point str 192.168.1.1 yeah that should be fine so if i do this then you can see the whip is now also on node one so we have everything is now running on node one what i missed to show you is like what we need to also do is we need to add the dependencies here so if you see i have mentioned here that we need to add the dependencies for storage ip address file server etc the reason is that db2 instance should not try to come online before the cluster disk it should not try to come before the file server it should not come try to come before the ip address and 
it should not try to come before this particular name so we are setting up this particular dependencies for this so that's done so we set up the dependencies now what i'm going to do is the final testing we have to now set up okay so before doing that i have to set up some variables so i have to set up the db2 communication etc so i'm going to do that so set set db2 inht1 is equal to, sorry db2 instance the is equal to db2 inht1 db2 terminate db2 get instance I'm connected to db2 inht1 db2 set minus all you should be able to see that db2 com variable is not set then i'm going to click on cls i'm going to no no not this command i'm going to copy it paste it here copy this cls and i'm going to do this and i'm going to do this so i've done that what i'll also do is the default db path to h drive so i'm going to do that oh it, for some reason it doesn't copy from the this one so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to say db to stop i'm going to say db to start uh I'll do this so i've changed uh oh sorry that okay okay now i'll have to stop and start again so why this is there is a two here and there is i think this one is also having a mistake so i'm going to do that so this i'm going to stop and start again so cls i'm going to do this and this done and this done so now uh okay i online pending now what i'll do is like i'll make sure i'll attach to the instance to db2 inht1 so i'm attaching to the instance db2 get dbm config show detail then pipe find str service so i'm going to see if the service is set and i'm also going to see default db path and that's not set so what i'm going to do i'm going to make it offline and i'm going to make it online so let's wait let's see if it once it comes online i'm going to check the default db path so for, for that i need to again attach so let's wait for that so db2 start so it's already active it says okay so now what i'm going to do is attach it and check the path so default db path so this is the command and you can see it has changed so now what we are going to do is we are going to create our database so instance is here you can you can keep a note of this sorry why did i do that so you can keep a note of this the instance shared folder okay here i'm going to click come here and what i'm going to do clear the screen and i'm going to say db to create db test i'm going to create a db test and you should be able to see a folder appeared db2 inht1 under this particular folder node 00 the this one and our table spaces are getting created under this so right now the database is getting created in our db2 instance one so right now we are into db2 instance and the database is getting also created on the shared file system the 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 shared disk the cluster disk we are creating the database once the database is created what i'm going to do is i'm going to activate the database and i'm going to set up the communication so while the database is getting created i can i can go ahead and step set up the, those steps i do not have to wait so this is the final step we have to test the virtual ip so now i'm going to click on my local machine so on the local machine i have installed the db2 command window so i'm going to launch the this so i'm going to launch my command window click on cd cd this is my local machine so now what i'll do okay so db2 list db directory nothing db2 list node directory nothing so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to catalog the tcp ip node this the node name is vinha you can give your name this is the vip this is the instance port of db2 inht1 so i'm going to do that so that's done once that is done for some reason okay the enter okay the ne next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to catalog the database test at node db2 ha the database that we are creating right now i'm going to do that so that's done then what i'm going to do is db2 terminate then i'm going to run those two commands db2 list node directory so now it's the 
the node is vinha it can be any name this is pointing to the vip that we just created in the cluster and this is the port the db2 instance port the db directory this particular database is cataloged at this node Win HA, this is the node. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to wait for the database to get created. That's done. So I'll activate the database, db2 activate. So I'll do one thing instead of that's done. So the activate is done. So now I'll come here. Okay, now I'm, this is on my local machine. So if I show you db2 list applications, you can see no data the local machine ip is 192.168.1.2 the ip of this is point str 192.168.1 the ip of this is ipv4 102 okay 102 not 1. okay so it's 22 so that's why I got confused. So it's 1.2 and 102. So what we are going to do, we are connecting using the VIP. We are not connecting using the local IP, not the cluster IP. We are connecting using the VIP. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say connect to the test using this account. So this is my local machine. I'm doing this. And once the connection is successful, uh, one dot the sockets, the TCP IP. Let me do one thing. Ping 192.168. Is that a blockage between this? So the ping is happening and the connect to test. Um, if the ping is happening, okay. Let's check. Uh, net stat minus an find str listen find str 5001. Oh, for some reason, the for some reason the communication protocol db2.com is set to tcp ip but why the db2 get dbm config show detail why did it happen find str service so for some reason okay so why it's not listening that's interesting why my 5000 why my this one is not listening okay it's interesting so failed give it a start so for some reason my ip did not listen so i'm starting the instance uh, let's do it from here so that's done now cls and do the netstat command and okay i have some i do not have a good feeling about this let me pause the video and figure out what happened and i'll explain you what exactly happened so i the the error was, was with the port so what i what i've done is i have now renamed this so i can i'll give a properties i'll give some xyz so i've just renamed it so what i've done is like i have removed the instance dependency uh, from the cluster so now this is no longer dependent on the cluster so now if i say db2 set minus all then you can see the db2 com is set to tcp ip which is good the port number if i say db2 get dbm config now uh, actually let me try to start it it's not started so if i do db2 start it's it it gives me this warning uh, the 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 reason why the port was not coming online is because i guess there is some problem with that port and i'm not able to figure out what problem is. so we'll see what warning we get so what we will do is like we will wait so you can see we got this particular warning so it's not able to start that particular port port so what i'm going to do is like i'm going to change the port so update dbm config using svce name to six t thousand so i'm done that then i'm going to stop the instance 
then I'm going to start the instance and we will see if that warning goes away. Just give it a minute. And you can see the warning that we got. So there was some problem with that particular port and that's why it was not coming. So once I change the port, it's working fine. Now, if I do net that minus a n grep listen, sorry, not grep. Why do I, why am I putting the Linux command on Windows server? So, so find str listen, find str 60,000 and you can see 60,000 port is currently listening. 640's port is currently listening. So we are good. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to rename this back to the the correct name which is db2 inst1-0 which should match with the service name so click ok and click on start role it's already started so it comes back online so that's good now what we need to do is we need to uncatalog these entries whatever we have done we have to uncatalog those entries so what instead so what i'll do is instead of uncataloging yeah that's uncatalog so that's best so CLS DB2 uncatalog node DB2 HA sorry win HA and uncatalog DB oh why do I have to uncatalog the DB I, I just have to fix the this one so what I'll do now is the command remains the same but this time I'm using the port 60,000 so that's done DB2 terminate to refresh this then what i'll do is like now i'm on a local machine and as i already shown you the ip of this is 192.168.1.2 i'll go here i'll clear the screen i'll do the db2 list application and this you should be able to see that we do not have any connection and this is my local machine this is my machine so if i do host name this is my machine Urvi is my daughter's name so that's the machine name and what i'll do is i'm going to connect to the database so connect to test user db2 admin using password so that's done if my connection gets successful so let's wait and that's got successful and now if i run the db2 list application you can see 192.168.1.2 which is the ip of this box that connection has appeared here we have successfully connected and if you can see that the the when i configure the node that time i've used the vip this is the vip so i've used that i will just to prove i will run one query so this is the query which will show that we are connected to the windows box so you can see right now we are connected to win 19 c2 it's a windows 32 box os version 10 which stands for windows 2019 uh, edition so if you refer what is win 32 nt os version 10 you will be able to see that it's a it's a windows 2019 and our our servers are running on windows 2019 as you can see here so windows server 2019 so now that we have we have successfully connected and we are right now connected to win 19 c2 so for some reason the win 19 c2 this particular box shuts down this particular machine the active node the currently the instance is running on win 19 c2 so for some reason this particular machine crashes or something happens or the db2 instance is not coming up so what i'm going to do i'm going to hit this i'm going to shut down this particular box instead of shutting down what i'm going to do is i'm going to crash this box so i'm doing that so i crashed it so right now the box is crashed then what i'll go here on the node one let's see what happens to our instance so i'm logging to the node one and now our connection would have broken so let's give it a minute so let's do Let's go to the server manager. Let's click on tools. Let's click on payload cluster manager. Click on server manager. We don't not need it any longer. So the, okay, that's fine. So, okay. So then we are going to click on this, click on roles and 
you can see that the owner node is win19c1 the owner node was win19c2 it's trying to come online so right now it's that particular role is trying to come online so give it a minute let's see what came online so except for the instance everything else has come online so give it a minute for that instance to come online so right now the watch has got 339 i'll pause the video i'll see it takes a little bit of time and that might be because of the fact that i have a very small configuration so give it a minute so after two minutes the role has come online it was 339 when i've stopped the video at 341 the role has come online and now i'm going to do the db2 terminate my connection would have already been terminated so i'm yep that's correct i'm going to connect back to the same connection you can see that i'm still using the whip so db2 list node directory is sorry this there's a spelling mistake here so list node directory i'm pointing to the whip and then that's here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to run our query and you can see now my database is at win 19 c1 previously my database was at win 19 c2 so automatically the failover cluster is going to move the instance from the whatever node that failed it's going to move it to one of the surviving node so with this i'm going to stop this particular tutorial this particular tutorial was how to set up the step-by-step -step setup of db2 11.5.7 on microsoft windows 2019 failover cluster what we call as the microsoft uh, mscs and this particular tutorial was done on windows 2019 virtual box 6.130 and i have used db2 version as you can see i have used 11.5.7 to do this particular setup i hope this particular tutorial was useful if you like my channel if you like the content that i'm uploading please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel and i will keep uploading similar contents i i believe whatever whatever videos that i'm uploading it will help you in your current environment you can you can use this particular guides or tutorial as your reference and you can definitely set up your clusters or whatever things that i'm uploading thank you for watching and see you in the hit uh, see you in next video and bye bye and definitely subscribe to my channel bye bye